Meanwhile, in El Dorado County, some are calling for an emergency declaration as the snow is being blamed for hundreds of power outages in places like Nevada City. The snow covering everything from roads to mailboxes in the trees surrounding power lines. John Irons was at his mother's house when a large tree brought down power lines right in front of the home. He says they lost power for about three to four days and about 12 trees altogether. Mom was definitely scared, you know. Uh, every time a tree fell, it was like a, like a gunshot went off and then just a big old crash and snow everywhere. So. Placer County currently under a state of emergency, but Callie Gennist, who lives in Dutch Flat, questions why officials have yet to add El Dorado County to their list. She says she's worried about her grandparents who live in Volcanoville. They are experiencing no power, no water. They have no access to the internet and nothing. And the officials, from what we've spoken to, and the county officials, as well as calling the 211, they just keep telling everyone to go online. That's how you're going to get resources. But if they have no power and no internet, how are they supposed to access their website? The Placer County Fire Department and the Sheriff's Office say they're working together in a unified command to try to pool their resources. Guinness says she's grateful for the help, but she's asking residents there to speak out if they're in a bad situation. She says the reason that they were able to get Placer County added to the state of emergency was because they continued to speak out. So how exactly do state of emergencies get declared in California? Let's go in depth and find out. The website scocablog.com is a joint project between Berkeley's Law California Constitution Center and the Hastings Law Journal. It says the Emergency Services Act gives California's governor broad emergency authority. The act establishes statewide emergency standards in the event of natural, man-made, or state of war emergencies that put in peril the life, property, and resources of California citizens. In an emergency, a governor may exercise California's sovereign authority to the fullest extent possible, consistent with individual rights and liberties. After declaring an emergency, a governor may disregard statutory law to direct state resources in responding to the crisis.